You can dream, create, design, and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it requires people to make that dream a reality. The Walt Disney Company started with one man and an idea, but evolved over time because of the people who believed in it. As agriculturalists, we are fortunate enough to have a very close-knit, supportive industry. Your next speaker is a past FFA member who works hard every day to serve the industry he believes in. The Governor's Office of Agriculture Policy, also known as the GOAP, has been an avid supporter of the FFA since its inception a decade ago. Many FFA members have been able to expand their supervised agriculture experience programs because of funds received through the GOAP. Through their sponsorship of the Agriculture Entrepreneurship Contest, we have awarded FFA members who've had the vision to establish and grow their own businesses. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming the Director of the Governor's Office of Agriculture Policy, Mr. Roger Thomas. Thank you, Tori. Good afternoon, FFA members, friends of FFA. I need your help. I'm getting ready to create an obstacle that I'm going to have to break through eventually. I'm old enough to know that you never try to one-up our friends in the press. However, Sharon Burton was here earlier, and she mentioned different chapters by name and got different levels of recognition. I'm going to ask a question and I want you to be very forceful in your response so that Sharon, who is still here and in the back behind stage taking pictures, so she will hear it. Are there any Kentucky FFA members here? Sharon, did you hear that? Good. It's an honor for me to be here to bring readings from Governor Bashir, First Lady Bashir, the Kentucky Agricultural Development Board, and our office, the Governor's Office of Agricultural Policy. This, I believe, is eight years that I've been afforded this opportunity to do this. And I always look forward to it. It's, it's a, a pleasure. It's one of the things that I truly look forward to doing each and every year. You know, I said earlier today at a legislative committee meeting in Harrison County that when we look back 20, 30, 40 years from now at the investments of the Kentucky Ag Development Fund, I don't think we'll have any investments that will prove to be more fruitful than the investments that we've made into leadership development organizations like FFA, like 4-H, and like the Kentucky Ag Leadership Program, the $2.2 million of investments of Ag Development Funds into the FFA Foundation are something that we're very proud of, and I commend the leaders, the Ag Development Board members, and th those current and in the past for making that decision to do that. I commend you for taking full advantage of those opportunities that have been created by those investments. You know, it's, it's one thing to be afforded the opportunity, it's another thing to take advantage of it. And I urge you to continue to take advantage of those opportunities. I'm so proud of my history in FFA. Uh, I said earlier today as well that, you know, I go back 50 years since I was in FFA. And it was different then. Uh, I can tell you that FFA chapters today are much more eye appealing than they were 50 years ago. And you know what I'm talking about. I commend the change and the transformation of Kentucky FFA and FFAs across the nation. Thank goodness that we've got our female leaders that are part of this organization now. I, I'm so proud of that. You know, this session started out with Paul Harvey's, what I think is probably one of the greatest videos ever made, God Made a Farmer. And I, yes, I agree with that. That's one of the best videos ever made. And even though it doesn't say it in the video, we all know it. That once you're a farmer, 
you're always a farmer. You can move away from the farm. You can take on a different career. But you will always have those qualities, that passion, that love for agriculture that you had when you were out there on the farm working every day, just as I have. The other thing I want you to remember, and, I, and I want, this will be my closing thought to you, not only is a farmer always a farmer, an FFA member is always an FFA member. Keep that in mind, and God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the convention. Thank you. Mr. Thomas, thank you for your continuous efforts to serve at the benefit of our industry. Please accept this token of appreciation for your continued support and leadership within the agriculture industry. Thank you. Let's have another round of applause for the director of the Governor's Office of Agriculture Policy, Mr. Roger Thomas. <laughs>